But see, this is the type of stuff, you know, when you're a kid, you made stuff out of sticks and mud and all sorts of crap. Or when it's on mobile, on the solar system. Yeah. I never did that. I did a replica of a maglev system. That was always weird. Yeah, I'm putting it in my space. I found you on my way. Oh, you did? Oh, you, Jordo? Oh, okay. You can't find RVL? <laughs> yeah, I do. MySpace.com backslash RVL1234. Remember RV Allen at one, two, three, four, and you found me. Mm -hmm. I already have you. You have your name is Mel from you're like a male from Brighton. That's what your profile says. It says Nicole Mel twenty years twenty five years old from Brighton. It says male. Serve, man. Oh, that was my footage. Exactly what it looks like in front of you. Okay, it's a little bit easier. 
even if it's sitting right in front of you, if you can spot some of those simple shapes, okay, then you can make more proportionality with it, you can make more accuracy to the design of it. Okay. So some of you have seen that example, like doing something on your own and, and I swim by and should have a drop, always break it down into basic shapes, always. Okay. For one, that's a really good way to always get you guys in the habit as an introduction or as beginners at a high level of drawing. Okay. Did you guys do need to excel into that professional? If you want to go into concept work, if you want to go into, you know, just the, the post-production of video games or the post-production of illustration, you guys got to move up into that direction. So a good way to do it is just always take those steps. Okay? If you're having a hard time drawing something, you think backwards. And break it down and see the object, see the shapes that are coming up. So, um, like I said, I brought in the, the uh, simple forms, okay, so that you can draw from those. And once again, I'd like you guys to practice with those and then start developing some items using, you know, multiple repeated shapes, like using multiple egg shapes, multiple little ring shapes, and okay, multiple cylinders, because I can put a like, site up here, and I can put another one down here someplace. You can cut these really short and put like little plugs on it, okay, or a little knob. Right? Makes sense? So, and always, always think about your light source. Nothing is going to look real or believable without a light source. Okay? And remember what I was talking about with the contour line? Even if you wanted to tackle this just with the contour line, maybe there's a way to thicken and also have that lost and found line to show where that light source is. Go with the contour line. Okay? Cool. Alright. So, get after it.